So Ash, what was it like riding your bike for the very first time? And the question is this, does that have code to it? Look, I, I didn't want to tell anyone my story about my first time I rode my bike, but if you insist. Is this going on the net? Yeah. Okay. I first rode my bike when I was about 17. It was good. It was fucking good. <laughs> It was really, really good, actually. That's all I can say. So what's your advice for people <laughs> experiencing their first time on a bike? <laughs> um, go hard or go home. <laughs> oh, that's See you later. Hard. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>well 2009 is the year that brings change and a lot of change it has brought um, the first bit of change I found out before I left Townsville was Webley wouldn't be coming back to Brisbane with me and since being back in Brisbane lots of things have been changing also but I guess the one thing I'm learning is in regards to change you can either choose to accept it and then welcome it or fight against it usually I found if you fight against it you don't get very far in life so I've made the decision to go along with it and enjoy the ride, and this is what's been happening. Alright guys, just a quick note, I'm not really good at all this. Um, Alright, so I'm Chris Webley, known as Diva in Chad Watson's Queer's Translation website. Um, supposed to be coming back with Chad around this time now, but change of plans, I'm thinking about coming back in about four months time. Um, entering a competition in April, hopefully it goes well, if so. I moved to Sydney and hopefully Chad comes with me and Emsley. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of my, my goodbye for the next four months. But I'm sure I'll be down in Brisbane visiting quite a bit. Alright boys, love you heaps. Mwah! Emsley, Chad and Lexi. Mwah! Your time in Townsville is ending today. You're jumping on a plane at around... Five? Yeah. Five, five sometime this afternoon. So, experiences here in Townsville, has it all been worthwhile? There's been ups and downs, there's been some really good times, but I'm sure there's been a shitload of time to think too. It's been up and down, like having my mum up here, having the stuff that me and my friends have gone through, the lessons I've been learning. I think one thing I've really learned is, the fact is, whether we've got family or not, deep down inside we are all alone in this world, and we're very lucky to have certain friends that we do and I value them, but at the end of the day your friends may mean the world to you, but you can't always have them around you. You have to live your life too, in a way that they can live their life also, and the fact is, it's what I really do believe, and in a way with Chris staying up here, it just proves my point. Like, friendships are amazing, like, very few friendships you get, but some are worth holding on to, and that's just it. Life, it really doesn't matter where you're going to end up, because ultimately it's just this big journey and with the right people it makes that journey so much more worthwhile and today I'm saying goodbye to Webley for probably four months unless he comes down before then and it's not going to be easy because he is my rock and it's the first time really that I'm not going to have my rock properly around and he's now going to be pursuing what he has to to get ahead in life and I'm in complete support, support of that he's realised there's more to life than just the gay scene and that's the thing we get too caught up in the gay scene and miss out on what life has to offer one thing we've really learnt too is family it's not about blood it's about the people and anyone can be family really that's what I've learnt from my experience and like there's more to life than going out getting fucked up and finding the next lay there's the, the substance that I think too often many people miss out on and I guess I'm going back to Brisbane now today with my focus on my career and also to live my life too. And I guess that's what myself, Angeline Webley are all doing. We're now living our lives in a way that it's going to progress us. But we know our paths are all going to cross because some things can't be broken and I really believe that's our friendship. And the thing is, with friend true friendships, there's no such thing as goodbye. It's just a bit of a see you later. Until the next time we're at Fluffy's getting trashed. Which hopefully is sooner than later. Why I'm thinking the way I am right now yeah. and why I've made a decision to stay in Townsville. Yeah. Um, probably for my health and 
more so I want to achieve a lot this year and I feel like if I can stay here, save the cash and work on myself inside and out and feel great about myself, I can accomplish anything this year. So I just need four months out of this year to do so and I get time to spend with my niece. And all those fuckheads out there that think they can talk to people and run them down and control their life. Man, you can only do that for so long until they actually wake up and realise you are really a fuckhead. So, any people going through that experience right about now, get out of it. It's not worth it in the long run. And you'll regret it. It'll be one of your biggest regrets in life. And you do not want that at all. Today I um, go back to Brisbane and I'm parting my way with Webley and... I guess... One thing I've learned is it doesn't you don't have to be around the person to be friends. Like the friendship I've got with him just goes beyond the usual friendship and it's just it's now our turn to do what we have to do in life, to get where we have to, to get where we need to, to get ahead. And I, I guess start reaching our dreams. I think too often we get caught up in the scene and we get distracted by just the pop partying and the superficiality of it all and we miss out on what more life has to offer and the thing that I'm really excited for Webley is he's working out what he wants in life and he's going for it and that's why even though he's not going to be around I'm like thinking wrong I would love him to be in prison with me but knowing what he's doing I'm I don't want him in Brisbane like and I mean that in purest love way too like He's my best mate, but he needs to be up in Townsville doing what he has to do, and that's why I don't want him there. But uh, it's just, the whole experience is weird, like, it's not a goodbye, it's a see you later, but when you're used to having that rock around, when he's... Yeah, I... It's weird, like... You have that person around all the time, and then they're going, and it's not easy. Like, it really isn't. And we both have to do what we have to do, and um, I'm hoping we're both making the right choices. And you know what? I know at the end of it, our paths are going to cross, and it's going to be like yesterday since we've seen each other. But when you have to say see you later to a really good mate, it's not very easy. So, Chris, I'm wishing you the best of luck. I'm back in Brisbane and nothing's gone according to plan. Um, the place I was meant to move into fell through at the last minute, so I pretty much got off the plane without a place to live. So at the moment I'm staying with some mates at the street that I used to live in uh, over like six months ago when I first moved away from Brisbane. And I'm staying with some mates here and just, they're really cool people, it's been cool catching up with them. And um, yeah, so tomorrow I find out about a place that I'm applying for in the Gabba. So hopefully that works out well and um, what else has been going on? Missing Webley and mum really badly, like Webley's mum, of course, which is like my adopted mum. And Terry B's here next weekend, so I'm catching up with her and doing a bit of work with her, which would be awesome. Awesome girl, can't wait to get her on the show. And yeah, so tonight, just got ready, dressed and gonna go out for a few hours. And tomorrow night I'm catching up with Emsley for the first time in like ages, so I can't wait to see him, so that's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go right now, but yeah, my life is Dramatic, chaotic, random, but it's 2009 and I guess it's the year that we take what's ours and, and you name it, so 2009 I'm taking what's mine.